Welcome back to the continuation on how to cook chili mussel. So how do I cook a chili mussel? First thing I'm gonna do is to make sure that my pan, get a nice pan, and make sure it's hot. I'm gonna be putting some olive oil on that. Not too much, just enough to cover up the bottom of my pan, as you can see. The oil just covered up the bottom of my pan. Another thing that I would like to talk about is not so much in relation of what we're doing right now. Sometimes at home you wanna cook let me say a steak, or you want to make a crispy skin paramandi, a crispy skin snap, or any fish it is. And out of a sudden, instead of this fish to come out, crispy up, it sticks to the pan, and now you have to use a scraper to scrape it up. How do I prevent that? Always make sure your pan is hot when you put in your oil before you drop your fish or your chicken or your steak. Doing that, the heat repels the meat or the fish and prevent it from sticking to the pan. Remember that. Put it at home. So once again, how do I know my pan is hot? Do I have to wait for the pan to catch on fire and I call the firefighters for you to know it's hot? You don't really want to do that. I will deny knowing you. Seriously, <laughs> just joking. So just make sure you see some smoke coming up like that. That tells me now that my pan is very hot. I will now reduce my heat. And at this stage, I'm going to add a little bit of onions to that, just a little bit. And I'm also going to be adding some garlic to it. So you can either crush your garlic, but at this stage, I don't want to crush my garlic. Using the same principle we learned before, like I'm speaking Italian because of the itchy, use that same principle and just slice your garlic. Nice. You see, my knife is not rising up like that. My knife is just rocking on the board. Okay, just rocking on the board, just like that, using the tip of my knife. Okay. So now my garlic, two cloves of garlic, is nicely sliced, and that should be enough. I'm going to transfer that onto my pan, increase the heat a little bit. So, pretty much what I want to do is to create some flavor. I'm just trying to brown my onions and my garlic. So doing that creates a huge amount of flavors that you cannot imagine. Process that at home, some fresh garlic, some onions, olive oil, brown it up on a medium heat until it browns up nicely. Just let it go for about a minute or two. It's gonna brown, the color is gonna change. After that, the next thing we're gonna be doing now is to deglaze that with some white wine. I always love to use my acid. So, who doesn't love his own wine? So now we're gonna deglaze that nicely. Okay, if you wanna create some fun, oh, just like that. If you scatter up the fire like that, the best thing you can do when you scatter up the fire like that is reduce your heat and close that. When you see a fire like that, you're scared, reduce your heat and you close that, the fire disappears after a minute. All right, after less than a minute, on a few seconds. So now, when you're comfortable back, Pull back your heat up again. If you don't want to have a flame like that, just reduce the heat while you're pouring your wine. But if you want to show up some flame, then increase the heat and then you pour your wine gently. When you're pouring the wine, you want to put hand on the lid like this, so in that way you can control the amount of wine coming out of your bottle. Good. So now we're ready. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, if you can smell this, oh my gosh, if you're here, you can smell it. The flavors, the aromas coming up are so great. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing now is to add some fresh chili to my dish. You see I'm wearing my, my dish? Some fresh chili, a little bit of capers. Oh yes, of course, I don't wanna miss some fresh basil too on that too. So let me add some fresh basil on that. I don't wanna crush that, I just wanna put the leaf as green, as fresh as it is, just like that. Oh yeah, come here. So at this stage, I reduce my heat. Last time we learned in my cooking class how to toss, how to flip a pan, so hold, get a towel so you don't burn yourself, hold the dish, hold your pan firmly, and gently towards me, just go like that. So that's how you flip, just bring it gently towards you, practice with some ice cube at home, get some ice cube from your freezer, bring your pan, and just practice like that. Okay, beautiful. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add my chili monster, if you remember that we just cooked. So transfer that now. Gently inside here, reduce your heat, make sure your heat is reduced. Oh, look at those beautiful babies. So, you might ask, What am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna save this broth, I can use it later to do like some, some, some stock or something, seafood stock. I'm, all, I'm also gonna be adding some of it to my chili mussels as I'm cooking. So don't forget, your chili mussel is already cooked, so you don't want to cook it so much. All you want to do is just for the white wine and uh, the garlic and the onions and the chili and all of that to soak it into my chili mussels. 
This is gonna take about less than a minute. After that, I can add my already cooked tomato sauce to it. If you wanna learn how to cook my secret tomato sauce, then you gotta buy my new book coming up soon. All right, beautiful. So the next thing that we're gonna be doing is to add, this is my six hour slow cooked oven baked tomato sauce. It's so rich. I'm gonna be adding about two spoons of that to my chili, to my chili mushroom. And now another thing I'm gonna be doing is to add some of this broth from our chili because I don't want it so thick. I want it light and beautiful. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Oh, the smell of that just makes me feel good. So we keep cooking. Lastly, we're gonna be adding a little bit of butter to it. I call this a little. Because believe me or not, some people ask me how much butter should you add to your dish? I always tell them there's no such thing as too much butter and too much cheese. Just follow your heart, all right? So we're gonna add some butter to that. And lastly, the last thing we're gonna be doing, like now we're gonna cook all of this so it all comes all together, okay? Can you see this? Look how beautiful that is. Come closer, let's see this. Oh, we're gonna wait for our butter now to melt. Sprinkle a little bit of fresh herb, fresh chopped herbs. Oh yeah, we're looking good. That looks so delicious. And now I'm gonna be adding some of my seasoning. So I'm gonna be adding about half tablespoon of my ultimate seasoning. And I'm going it so spicy, so I'm gonna be adding about one tablespoon of my peri peri seasoning, all right? So we're gonna add that to it. With that, I don't have to worry about salt or pepper or anything else. I'm all covered with flavors. It's like a flavor heat profile right here. Perfect, yeah. So right there like this, it's perfect, it's good to go. You can now put it on a plate and you can eat and enjoy. But if you really wanna twist it up a little bit, come on. In Australia, we like to twist up. Uh, we can just add a little bit of cream. And now adding cream to my chili mussel is really gonna change the color now. And also it's gonna make it more richer too. So see how my color now is gonna change, almost like a rosé cream sauce. Oh, look at that. Look at how that just changed. That's looking good. Looking beautiful. Good. So I'm just gonna bring this to a bowl. And after I bring it to a bowl, my chili mousse is ready. I'm just gonna plate it up and enjoy. I can't wait to be so hungry waiting for this. Beautiful. Let's cook it for one more minute. And bring all everything, all ticking up, all good. Just cook it for one more minute, be patient. If you're not patient, just drink your wine and just be patient. One minute is gonna come. I know it looks so tempting. You can't wait to get into it. But it's gonna be one minute soon. Okay, gently when you're doing this. Okay, gently. Okay, just like that. Beautiful. Okay, it looks good to me. If it looks good to you, let's see it. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna plate it up. So I'm just gonna be putting my chili. It. That's looking good. So I have all my chili mussels in there. So I'm just gonna pour the sauce over it. Oh, look at that, look at that. So I'm just, presentation is everything. So I'm gonna wipe that. And just make sure it just looks super good. Finish that with some sprinkle of fresh herbs. That can never hurt. And lastly, we're gonna be adding, sprinkling some nice fresh chilies to that too. Oh yes. Yeah, bon appetit people. That looks so beautiful. So if you wanna know here, you can find my spices that I use for the cooking, which is my all-in-one ultimate seasoning that makes everything taste so good, like I'm in your kitchen cooking for you, and my peri-peri seasoning that gives you the hits you need for any dish, and also the rest of my seasoning, my wines, and my products, you can go to my bio on www.calibspecialities.com.au to get the whole information on how to buy it and easy to purchase to online. And you can also get it if you're within Western Australia from your local stores like the Hesman Market, like uh, the Bull Shed in, in, uh, in Coruscant and also Peaches in, in Fremantle. You can get it from all these places and many other gourmet ideas within Western Australia. Thanks again for watching my videos and let me know what other videos you would like me to create. See you next time.